An email from Akari. Oh no. Log cake, yep. Long time to see a dancer friend has been bugging me about having a dance battle with you. Would you mind taking her on for me? She said she'll be waiting near a tree on the Sotenbury footpath. Okay. Somewhere near Zuboraya. Okay. That's easy enough to do. Oh shit. Oh, we did it. We're in there. Side quest city, baby. Wonder how everyone's doing back home. Yama san said I have an interview with an with an Okinawa tourism magazine. I've been so busy I nearly forgot. Got an email. Sayako, thanks for the money, Haruka. Don't overdo it, okay? We saw you on TV the other day. All of us at Morning Glory were thrilled. They're all watching me on TV. That's so nice. It makes me happy, even though it's kind of embarrassing. Better right back. I'm so glad to hear from you. Is everything okay back home? She answered back already. She's getting good at this email thing. Thanks, but we're fine. We're as happy as ever here. How about you? Want us to send you some Goya? I don't have to worry. Of course, I don't want them to worry about me now. No thanks, I'm good on Goya. Soon I'm going to do an interview for a tourism mag. Maybe I'll, I'll get to read it. Walk and text, Haruka. Let's go. That'll get them excited. Can't wait to see how they react. Come on, Ayaka, why are you taking so long to write back? Here we go. Is that interview the one where you answer questions from readers? Make sure you do a good job. Why is she being so pushy? I'll just tell her, okay, thanks, Ayako. I'm off to work now. Talk later. Love, Haruka. It's a relief to you. Everything's all right back home. That last message was weird, though. Uh oh, it's time for the interview. I better hurry to the Boon Simon Outdoor Mall Studio. Oh, my goodness. St Arika, we gotta teach you to walk and text. That was... That was agony. Nobody just stands in the middle of the street and does that. That's weird. Nobody does that. Not a single person ever. She wasn't texting, she was emailing. It takes more effort. It's texting. You do that. Wait a minute. Aren't you... Pardon? It is you. I knew it. Sawamura-san, right? I'm Fuyimoto. Surely you've heard of me. No, I'm very sorry. I'm afraid I haven't. That's funny. I'm on TV a lot. But I suppose you're much too busy to watch TV. I've seen you on the Princess League, by the way. Anyway, I'm producing a special event right here in Sotenbori. The main goal of the event is to provide for the audience an intense, exciting battle between idols, live and in person. We gather nearly 100 idols to get- oh, Jesus Christ, 100? And then the live audience rates them by voting? That sounds similar to Princess League. What sets this event apart is that everyone can come to see the whole thing live. Live, not pre-recorded? 99 idols battling out live on the Sotenbury stage. Dude, did this game do Battle Royale like two years before it became insanely popular? The event is called Sotenbury Battle Royale 99, or SBR 99 for short. I didn't talk shit at you. You didn't have to admit that you stand still while you send text messages. I've heard of that, but I didn't know it was the name of an event. Many people are under the mistaken impression Ooh, that it's the name of a group. Anyway, I'm glad you've heard of it. Idols compete in three categories, a dance battle, a concert event, and a handshake event. The audience then votes on those performances. Now to come to the point, do you think you might be interested in competing in SBR 99, Miss, Mrs. Miss Sawamura? Sorry to ask you like this in the street after a chance meeting, but I think this must be fate. What do you think? SBR 99 has a high profile, is a high profile event, and I believe taking part in it would be good publicity for you. Not only that, but I also think it would be a chance to grow as well. As mentioned before, SBR 99 takes place before a live audience. In this competition, I always get the experience of pressure of the direct audience voting in addition to a little friendly competition. What better environment to help an idol grow? I'm sure you'll find the experience of battling it out with other idols of your generation in such an exciting event to be truly enriching. This dude talks so much. It does sound like it'd be a good experience. Most definitely, yes, what do you say? Would you like to take part? I'm actually going... It's actually going on right now, so you could start immediately. 
I firmly believe it's better to try something and regret it later than to regret not, not trying it at all. And I would say that all the young ladies taking part in SPR 99 right now feel the same way. Hi. Sign me up. Your agency is Dinochair, isn't that right? I'll contact them myself to make the proper arrangements. If you come right this way, I'll show you to the event hall. Wait, are we making arrangements or are you just... Okay. You can get changed for the event. When the staff will come notify you when it's your turn to go on. You'll begin with a dance battle. After that comes the concert and then we'll close things off with a handshake. Both the dance battle and concert event, you'll be facing off against an opponent. And if you're wondering who that opponent will be, it's Ayumi. That'd be me, right, Fuyamoto-san? <laughs> right you are, Ayumi. Hello, Sawamura-san. I've been watching you on the Princess League. Today's SBR 99 should prove to be pretty interesting, don't you think? Ayumi Don Domoto. She's one of our most popular participants, regularly voted number one. I thought she'd be a good matchup for you. Very nice to meet you. Just because you've gained a little fame on TV, don't think that's going to help you here. SBR99 fans are pretty selective. They aren't swayed by money or connections. They only care about talent. You're pretty brave to come waltzing in here. I just hope you don't regret it once the votes are counted. Now, Ayumi, please don't be rude. I was the one who had to persuade Sawamura-san to join us here today. That doesn't mean you want me to hold back, does it? No, of course not. As a matter of fact, it would be downright disrespectful to Sawamura-san. <laughs> As long as I know it's all right to do my best, I can relax and focus on my performance. I'll be upset. I'm sure only, I'm sure Ayumi only speaks this way because she's fiercely proud of her accomplishments here. That's just the kind of keen competitive spirit that SBR99 breeds, and it's all the better for it, I believe. Hi. Glad to hear you say that. I have a feeling today's competition will be more exciting than ever. Better get, let you get ready. Your turn will be coming up soon. God, he talks a fuckload. Okay, joining us for this time to get ready for an exciting battle. Own ace, Ayumi Domoto, in an intense head to competition. As always, the audience will vote as the idols compete in three categories. Dance battle, concert event, handshake event. Let's just do it. Let's just do the thing. You talk so much. It's not easy. How are you missing so many things? This isn't even going to be a competition. It does sound like French. I'm just healing for fun. Easy. Hell yeah. It appears clear that these girls are vying for the top two spots out of 99. Do better than I expected. I thought your popularity might have just been a fluke, but now I see you know that really know your stuff. And I can see why you're the SBR99 ace. Nah, she sucks. I'm just getting warmed up. Wait till you see what I do next. All right, concert event. Here we go.
Perfect. Hell yeah, I think I nearly forgot to breathe. What will become of the other SBR99 challenges if our new contestant walks away with the top spot on our very first try? It will all be up to you, the audience, to cast your votes and decide. The competition isn't over yet. There's still one more SBR99 category to come. Handshake event. Being an idol just isn't just about technical skill after all. Heartfelt appreciation for their fans is every bit as important, if not more so. Now then, on to the handshake event. I don't need a handshake procedure. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. その髪が大事。本当ですか？髪綺麗だね。本当ですか？可愛いね。またまた。ありがとうございます。よろしくお願いします。髪ツヤツヤじゃん。手あったけ。そんなことないですよ。ありがとうございます。何話そう。沢村遥です。オルコちゃん。頑張ります。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。目から水が。またまた。オルコちゃん。ありがとうございます。緊張する。よろしくお願いします。<笑> 細いね。そんなことないですよ。生き生きとしてるね。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。楽しみだな。沢村遥です。美人だね。またまた。髪綺麗だね。本当ですか？足止まらないでください。Oh uh, what? Oh, I got screwed at the end. What was that? I let go. Oh no. Voting has begun. We ask for your patience. Oh no. Did everyone enjoy it? Tense battle between idols and folding right before your eyes. Alright, what are the results? Bringing up the rear in 99th place. First place is either going to be you or me. I underestimated you at first, but I have to admit your head and shoulders above the rest. Alright, let's see what the results are. No grudges. Oh, Haruka's number one! Hell yeah. Please step forward and say a few words. Okay. Thank you very much to everyone who voted for me today. Whether you whether you voted for me or not, thank you very much for participating in today's Sunbury Battle Royal 99. This is the first time I ever tried SPR 99. It was absolutely wonderful. I'm really glad we got to spend this time together. Thank you! The funny thing about what you say there, though, Slimmy, is handshake events are real. Like, that's not, that's not just Yakuza weirdness, that's, that's real-life weirdness. This is art imitating life, not the other way around. Uh, appreciate you joining us. We certainly had an exciting SBR99 today, thanks to you. It wasn't needed in the game? I mean, it depends on what you, the, it's a simulation. It's a simulation game. A proposal? Would you ever consider leaving Dyna chair? No. I have a plan to someday form a group from all of SBR 99's top performers. That's my ultimate dream. It's why I've been talking to all the winners. Just I'm doing with you right now. What do you say? Would you ever consider it? Nope. Sorry. I heard that you were discovered by the Dyna chair president that you came all the way from Okinawa. With all that in mind, I didn't think it very likely that you would say yes. I had to at least make an effort to ask. I hope you can forgive me. Maybe we better make this your last SBR 99 so I won't be tempted to ask you again. Yep, she is an idol and they do handshake events. Performance fee. Is it 30,000 yen? Oh, 10k. Okay. Thanks, bud. That was a long sub story. He talked so much. 
So many words were used by that person. Are you interested in broadcasting communications or becoming an announcer? Our school will give you specialized training. We're the Sotenbury Announcer School, and right now we're offering a free introductory class. More than 90% of the students who graduated from our program have landed broadcasting or other voice-related jobs. We've put together a rich curriculum which trains the broadcasting student in enunciation, intonation, diction, and proper language usage. Our course is perfect for anyone who wants to work in a voice-related field. Voice actors, TV talent, narrators, presenters, etc. A lot of these skills sound like they might be really helpful. Would you like to at least try our introductory class? It's completely free. You can even take it right now if you have time. Easy into voice acting. All right, let's try it. If it's free, free is the right price. Am I the only student? No one else has expressed an interest at the moment, but you're in luck. Now you'll receive all the teacher's attention. I don't know if I like that. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I'm Sai Gusa, the headmaster of the school. What a pretty young student you found us, Fujimoto-san, perfect for a career in broadcasting. I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? My name is Fujimoto, and you are Haruko Sawamura. <laughs> what a pleasant voice our young student has in our curriculum, which could help you polish and refine your speech quality even further. As soon as they ask for the car, jump on them. Ah, uh, Saigusa Sensei, if you would start the lesson. It looks like you're the only one here, but let's begin, Hi. shall we? A lesson on proper language usage. As you know, many people are guilty of misusing language in their everyday lives. This doesn't pose much of a problem when speaking to friends or family, but it won't do for an announcer. Ooh. Speaking on national TV, how embarrassing would it be to make a mistake when speaking in front of millions? That would be embarrassing. This brings us to your first problem to consider. I will give you three sentences. You tell me which of them contains a mistake. Okay, he is just as tall as Alyssa and I. That one contains a mistake. Um. Well, actually, wait. Two of them contain mistakes. Shouldn't it be Alyssa and I did our homework together? I feel like this is a trick question. Both of these have mistakes, don't they? Number two, Alyssa and me did our homework together is incorrect. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people wouldn't have known the answer. The people who did their homework on are the subject of the sentence, so the pronoun should be in sub subjective form. I, not me. But you do hear that kind of thing quite a lot, though, don't you? It's commonly used and readily understood, but still incorrect nonetheless. Which of these three sentences contains a mistake? I literally cried for an hour. I will do it regardless of the cost. If I'd known... I would have done it differently. It should be would have. Wonderful, you're correct. Saigusa Sensei, could you please explain what the mistake is? I'm afraid I'm not sure myself. How can you claim to represent our school with such a shaky understanding of the language? It should be would have, not would of. People do misinterpret would have as would of fairly often in colloquial speech, but they are in fact incorrect. Which of these three sentences contains a mistake? I accidentally took the wrong bus. You made a complete 180 degree turnabout. I love fruit, e.g. Uh, it should be I-E, I think. I didn't, I don't think e.g. is correct, but let's see. I accidentally took the wrong bus. You made a complete 180 degree turnabout. I think it's this one. Yeah. 
Oh. The one that's incorrect is number one? Really? Oh, I wasn't looking at the spelling. Proper language use is a difficult thing, which is why our course comes so highly recommended. I do hope you'll consider enrolling. I only came because she said it was free, but I guess they're going to try to persuade me to sign up. There are other skills that need to be cultivated as well for voice-related work. You did very well indeed. You got most of the problems correct. I'm starting to worry there isn't much we can teach you here. Surely there must be something else. There's plenty more to learn. Plenty. Let's move on to a new topic. Through the use of tongue twisters, we'll practice speaking rapidly yet clearly an essential skill for any announcer. Clear enunciation and fluency are essential for any voice-related career. Are you ready to start? I'll give you a tongue twister, and you'll say it as fast as you can. We'll start with one of the more common tongue twisters. See, she sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Very good. Now say it again. She sells seashells by the seashore. One more time. See, she sells seashells by the seashore. Quite the fluent speaker. That one was just a warm up, however. On to the next tongue twister. I can't even say it as fast as you have to answer it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Oh shit, that's the wrong one. Damn it. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> so last one's gonna be quite difficult. Are you sure you're ready? Alright, have you heard of it? It goes Many an anemone oh god, many an anemone sees an enemy anemone. Maybe not saying it out loud would help, maybe. Anemone, those colorful sea creatures with the tentacles, right? Many, many an anemone sees an enemy anemone. <sighs> you got it exactly right. That was incredible. Ooh, many an anemone sees an enemy anemone. You must have a natural aptitude for this sort of thing. Oh, that concludes our introductory class. Thank you very much for coming. You already possess some solid skills, but enrolling in our school can help you refine them. Have you any interest in being an announcer? <laughs> it is a harsh one. What do you say, Miss Summer? What a wonderful career that would be. I... I really don't have the time for that right now. I only took the class because it was free. I know what you're thinking. Your life is so busy already and you just don't have the time. I'm afraid that's true. I'm sorry, but I can't roll in your school. Not to worry. We also have a home study kit for busy students like you. You can train in your spare time at home. The kit includes a textbook on proper language usage and an anthology of 1,000 tongue twisters as well. They can be yours for only 500,000 yen. So, you know, $5,000. What? 500,000 yen? <laughs> oh, at least that's the usual price, but because you already have such a solid foundation, we would like to give you a discounted price of only 490,000 yen. <laughs> oh no, Saigusa Sensei, are you sure? That's far too much of a discount for these wonderful materials. Yes, well, Miss Sawamura is truly special. She deserves the opportunity. What do you say, Miss Sawamura? Don't let this chance slip away. Oh. I don't have that kind of money. Think of it as an investment in your future. It may seem like a lot of money now, but the return will be well worth it. Both me and Fujimoto-san think that with these materials, you will learn the proper use of the language and gain confidence in your skills. Me and Fujimoto-san think? I thought you said that's incorrect. Shouldn't it be Fuji Fujimoto-san and I think? Oops! Saigusa-sensei, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, but I don't have that kind of money. I'm afraid I won't be buying your study kit. Yeah. They really are wonderful materials, well worth the price. They contain example sentences such as me and Fujimoto-san think. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, that was just a simple slip of the tongue on my part. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I have to be going now. I really did enjoy the lesson, though. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. But, darn, I really thought we had her. Fuck off. Scummy ass, trying to scam a fucking kid. 
That's bullshit. That's some smelly bullshit. Alright, good. We got a star on that one. I was a little worried because we didn't ace it, but... I want to find a save point because I don't want to have to do that one again in case I do fuck one up. Wait, that's a dance battle? Hold on a second. That looks interesting. Yeah, free lesson. Many an anemone, uh, something enemy anemone. Oh man, this guy looks like Majima from the back. That's disappointing. Akihiko, are you really serious? C, that's what it was. C an enemy anemone. You're really gonna quit comedy? Aro, I'm telling you, my mind's made up and you can't slay me. How can you give up on our dream like that? We've been a duo for four years now. You're just going to throw that all away? Yeah. It's not like I want to throw it all away, but, I th but think about it. Do you really think we got a shot at making it all the way? Yeah, I do. I believe in us. We're going to make it big, real big someday. That's why we've been working so hard for these past four years, isn't it? Well, great for you. I don't believe it anymore. We haven't had a glimmer of hope in four years. We did hundreds of auditions, but we didn't get called back for a single one. That's rough. Okay, yeah, that might be true. But if you work on being a better straight man, and I can work on being a better funny man. That's what we've been doing for four years, and it hasn't happened yet. We ain't getting any younger, you know. But do you have to quit right now? We have an audition in a couple of minutes. Why can't you wait to see how that goes first? I've got some really great material this time. All you gotta do is come back with some great retorts. My mom found me a lead on a good job. Sorry, man, but I'm on my way to the interview right now. If I'm going to quit comedy, now's the time to do it. I don't want my mom worrying about me anymore, you know? Bye, Haruo. Wow. That's so sad. Oh, man, what am I supposed to do without a partner? I could be your partner. Excuse me, is something wrong? I'm part of a comedy duo, but my partner just quit on me. We have an audition that's about to start and everything. Man, I don't know what to do. Hey, wait a minute. I know you. You're that idol Haruka Sawamura. Uh, well, yes, I am. Oh, this is the minigame that was absurdly hard in the original? Aw, shit. I can't believe I'm seeing the real you in person. I've been a fan of yours ever since I saw you on TV. Thank you very much. Good thing I just fucking saved. And you're funny, too. You did a good job with the back and forth when you were on that talk show. Had some real knee slappers. You really think so? I was just trying to talk about what I thought the viewers would like to hear, and it just happened to go well. But that ain't easy. You got some real something real special. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting an idea here. Harka, have you ever thought about doing duo doing comedy? See anyone else here? I'm telling you, you'd be real good. This audition coming up means the world to me. I lost a lot of sleep coming up with this material. And I've got some really good stuff, you don't you know? I couldn't stand it if I had to forfeit the audition because my partner quit. I need a favor. Could you be my partner, please? Pretty please? You only need to do it, it this once. What? But I don't have any experience. Don't worry about that. You've already been on TV loads of times. That ought to help you out. It'll be fine. Besides, it'll be good for your career to polish your comedy skills. It could really come in handy for your work. Just think of all the successful idols. They're not not—they're not only attractive and good at singing, but they're all extra charming, right? <laughs> I guess you're right, but I can't be funny. I don't know any good jokes or anything. Don't worry about a thing. I already thought up all the material. All you have to do is have some good comebacks ready when I say something silly or stupid. I think you'd be great at it. I bet you could hit me with all kinds of great retorts. So what do you say, Haruka? Will you beat the straight man to my fool, the sun to my shine, the taco to my yaki? We'll give it a try. Come up with a name? I can actually think of a few right off the bat. See which one you like. Haru and Haru, the laugh makers, or the mola mola. I think these two suck, and this one's like kind of, 
kind of okay. <laughs> the Laugh Makers is terrible. Uh, I don't even get the Mola Mola. But this one's okay. Your name starts with Haru. My name starts with Haru. It's a dang perfect name for the perfect team. Now that we got an all-star name, I'm sure we're going to be a big hit. I hate to rush you, but are you ready to go now? The audition is about to start. I mean, right now, but I'm not ready. A good comedian's got to go with the flow, learn to handle whatever comes their way. It's important to know how to wing it. You have to be able to take sudden pressure like this in stride. What's a little audition? No big deal, right? You can do this. How's about we get to that event hall? Here we go. We're holding the comedy edition here. Today's the first round. Those who pass all three rounds get a spot on the comedy show. But I'm only helping out for today, aren't I? What will you do for the second round onward? <laughs> I'll worry about that when I come to it. I'm sure everything will work out fine. Wahaha! <laughs> Okay, then. Our turn is coming up soon, isn't it? I'm feeling a little nervous. Just be yourself. You're going to do fine, Harkachan. How about we rehearse a little? I'll bring up a topic and you interject with something that fits. What do you mean, interject? You know, keep the conversation flowing by saying stuff like, Is that so? Your interjections set the pace of the conversation. That sounds tricky. No need to overthink it. It's just like a normal conversation, you see. And when I say something silly, you hammer it home with some kind of clever retort. Like, what the hell are you thinking? I see. You got natural talent, so I know you'll come up with the wittiest comebacks. Just pick the one you think works best and you'll be split in sides like a comedy lumberjack. Okay. Sure. I'll give it a shot. That's the spirit. If all goes well, we'll get the crowd and the judges on our side. That's how we're going to pass. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> あ、あなたの唇。全て好きです。ついに来たんちゃうこれ。俺と付き合ってください。俺って男や。さすがにその人とは1年で別れましたけどね。付き合ったんかい。女で僕今まで彼女できたことないんですわ。ええやん。ありがとう
せやから僕も結構モテてたんですわほうほうで学校の校門とかで「あ今帰り?」なんて偶然よそって寄ってくるんですよ「一緒に行こう」なんて言うてそらすごいなまんざらやないから「おおー」とか言ってついてってなええー、やんそのまま校舎裏でボコボコですわヤンキーやないかそれだけやあらへんねん朝学校行ってな下駄箱こう開けるやんなるほどバッサーって出てくるねもう読み切れへんくらいのラブレターやほうほう大体の内容は同じやねんもしよかったら付き合ってくださいおお来たでこれしないでヤンキーやないか隣はあんねん初めて見た時からあなたのことばかり考えてますこれは来たで I'm just guessing あなたの瞳あなたの唇すべて好きですついに来たんちゃうこれ俺と付き合ってください俺って男やさすがにその人とは1年で別れました付き合ったんかいそんなこんなで僕今まで彼女できたことないんですわもうええわどうもありがとうございました I did better that time Dude, following the story is funny but it's hard to do in the moment I think we probably did good enough to pass on Okay You're the real deal, your timing's great if only I could read fast enough. I still don't think I know fully what the story was there. Okay, that was just round one of the audition. Aren't there more? There's the truth. A serious crime drama. Exactly. <laughs> Reminder that this is a crime drama video game. We are... Four and a half hours into uh, the Haruka chapter today, <laughs> and was, this is a serious crime drama, okay? Only serious business happens here. That's the truth, and I, but I don't want to bother you none. I'll just find a new partner to do the rest of the audition with. Find some shield of fit. Okay. I know I'm usually a fool, but I gotta be straight with you for once. I wish you and I could keep going together a little longer. We were pretty good together up there, don't you think? I bet we could get pretty far. You think you could stick around a little longer? It's no skin off my back if you can, I understand. But if you ever get the urge to do some more comedy, I'm always down to split sides and slap knees. I hang around this area a lot, so you ought to be able to find me if you go looking. Don't let all the glitz and starlight up on that idol stage blind you. You always got a place here. He's a nice dude. This is the prize for passing the first round? It's medicine. I mean, I, that's that's got to be success, right? Oops. Yep, there we go. So now, but it's also on the completion list. Ah, uh, you've got to finish all three evaluation rounds. Okay. Let's do it. Is he there? I want to do it again. It's pretty fun. It's just really hard. He's not here. That's okay. Ah, uh, miss, excuse me. Aren't you Haruka-chan, that big idol from TV? I'd recognize that face anywhere. That's right, I'm Haruka Sawamura. Thanks, thank you so much for watching. Would you look at that, a famous star like you just strolling down the street. Why not try some of my takoyaki before you go? <laughs> it's on the house. As you can see, it's not exactly busy here. I'm in a bit of a slump, you might say. I just can't understand it because my takoyaki is really good. Care to give it a try? Dude, it's been good for five games, bro. bro. Don't, don't let, don't, don't sell yourself short, man. Your takoyaki is great. <laughs> it's a good, it's been good for 20, it's been good for 30 years. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Real Magutako Takoyaki. Nothing more Osaka than this. Mm. What do you think? Good, right? It's really delicious. What did I tell you? Best in the city, if I do say so myself. I just can't figure out why people ain't lining up to come get it. Maybe I gotta advertise more. Spruce up my stand or something. I tell you, I'm stumped. Dude, I'll do a concert for you to advertise it. If only people would try a bite, they'd be hooked, I'm sure. Think so? That's awfully kind of you to say. Thank you, Harkachan. You ever get a chance, maybe you can talk this place up on TV. I don't know, I don't get many chances to say whatever I want on TV. I'm just pulling your leg, you're an idol after all. It's not like you're a comedian or anything. Want to be my manager for a day? If you do that for me, I can't tell you how much I'd appreciate it. Stand in front of the shop, maybe? Maybe that ought to do the trick. 
Would I really draw customers in? Do you think? I know what would get me to stop by. Handshake event. Oh, there we go. I better check with my agency to make sure it's all right. I don't think they'll have any objections. Hell yeah, dude. They thought it would be a great idea to help out a local business. I'll start getting ready right away, and I'll change into my work outfit. Today we have a very special guest here at Magutako, singer Haruka Sawamura-chan. She's agreed to be my manager for a day. Try our special bargain, a sampler three-pack of takoyaki, only a hundred yen. Each lucky person who buys takoyaki today will receive a warm handshake from our special manager for a day, Haruka. Step on up and try this takoyaki, everyone. It's absolutely delicious. I would. I totally would. You're Haruka-chan from the Princess League. I want to shake your hand. Yeah, one buck. I know. What do you say, Haruka-chan? How about some nice, warm handshakes for our wonderful new customers? Nah, we don't need the procedure. Food in Japan is, like, priced so well. Wait, oh, did I not push the button? I pushed the button. I'm sorry. I pushed the button. Oh, I pushed the wrong. Wow, this one's not going well. I suck. I'm trash. ありがとうございます。色気があるね。本当ですか？ありがとうございます。何話そう？素敵じゃん。ありがとうございます。ちょっと待ってね。目がキラキラしてる。ありがとうございます。彼女になって。またまた。ありがとうございます。気持ちもする。よろしくお願いします。テレビ見たよ。ありがとうございます。ちょっと待ってね。笑顔がいいね。ありがとうございます。目が綺麗だね。ありがとうございます。やった。And fuck it up that time. Yeah. Great comeback after that really shitty start. Didn't register my button press. I must have pushed it too early. <laughs> I've never seen so many customers lining up. You sure can draw a crowd. And they all seemed over the moon to shake your hand. I'd wager you I'm going to have a whole new slew of regulars thanks to you. I better roll up my sleeves today because it looks like I'm going to be busy. Thank you, Haruka. Oh, yeah. A little extra reward. 30,000 monies. It's me who should be thanking you. You really gave Magutako a boost today. I hope you'll be back. Sweet. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Sub story complete. Perfect score. Piece of cake. What are you all upset about? Wants cra crab legs. Uh, Club Sega story? Don't mind if I do. It, uh, it, oh, never mind. Triggered this one. Hello, Haruka. It's Yamaura. You got a sec? Yes, of course. Do the names Watami and Watamin Wataminshi ring a bell? Mm-hmm. They're restaurants, right? I'm actually standing in front of Watami right now. Oh, you are? Perfect. Hmm? Why is that? Hang on, let me back up a bit. Watami is a Japanese casual restaurant and Watamin Wataminshi Wataminshi is a charcoal grill restaurant. They're both part of the Watami group, and both are looking for a new poster girl right now. A poster girl? You want me to apply? What, you think I'm just sitting on my hands over here? I sent in your application a while ago. Matter of fact, I just got a response from saying you passed the first stage. Really? I did? The next stage of the audition process is an interview, so I'll need you to fill it I'll need you to fill you in on that. Can you come by the agency when you get a minute? Okay, sweet. You might want to check Watami out before the interview. You're right there, so that works out perfectly. Let me go in all by myself. 
I guess you're right. You might feel kind of weird going in alone. All right, never mind. I'll be waiting at the agency office. See you soon, kid. Okay. I might go in anyway, because that seemed like maybe that would be the smart thing to do. Hello, sir. Man in lab coat. Pardon me, miss. May I ask you a question? Oh, dude, is this the IF-8? Would you, by any chance, consider yourself a gamer? A gamer? A person who likes video games? Hell yeah. I suppose I do like video games. In that case, could you spare a moment of your time? It's right this way. What do you want me to do? Oh, my apologies. I should have been more clear. It's nothing weird, I can assure you. If you could just spare a minute, you'll be back in no time. I'm pretty sure this is IF-8. Yep, there he is. Doctor, I brought a girl gamer. I'm sorry it took so long. Ah. Gamers rise up. Ah, right, long last. Now we can finally begin the experiment. Uh, experiment? What kind of experiment? <laughs> I'll let that laugh speak for itself. I am Dr. Minamita, and this device is the new version of my fighting simulator, Inner Fighter 8 Road Battle. Inner Fighter? We call it IF-8 for short. IF-8 is a revolutionary gaming device of my own invention. It utilizes special ele electromagnetic waves to allow the player to play inside their own head. We'd like you to test it out. I'm afraid I still really don't really understand. <laughs> I'm not surprised, my dear. IF-8 is still in development, you see. Though I am indeed its creator, there's still a lot about it I don't quite understand myself. Thus, we'll, we need to test it. And this particular IF-8 is a female version. I've modified it to be specially suited to female gamers like you. Weird. My assistant here was so proud of this modification that I rushed it to rushed to Osaka to see it. But apparently it's only suited to female players. And here you are at last. So I would be the very first one to use it? Precisely. But there's absolutely nothing to be afraid of, my dear. I'm sure you will enjoy it immensely. In this game, you'll become a magical heroine and combat fearsome enemies deep within your mind. Haven't you always dreamed of doing something like that? I suppose when I was younger. Well, this game makes that dream a reality. But instead of trying to explain, perhaps I should just let you try it for yourself. Are you ready? Oh, just a minute, Doctor. Before she tests it, she'll need to sign that agreement we talked about. Agreement? You must maintain absolute secrecy around the IF-8 project while it's being developed. We therefore need you to sign a non-disclosure agreement. A non-disclosure agreement? Well, um, I don't know about signing something so suddenly like that. Your cooperation would be most appreciated. It isn't as easy to acquire a female game tester as one might think. Won't you please consider helping us? The chance to become the magical heroine of your dreams is just a sign away? Whatever. Let's do it. Arigato. Wonderful, my dear. My assistant here will prepare the document for you. Meanwhile, I'll be getting the device ready. Let's become a magical girl. Before you begin, allow me to explain the particulars. I fade as players move along a city street and vanquish enemies using their magical powers. A powerful boss awaits at the end. Defeat this boss and you'll receive a boost to your abilities. Not those of the player character, but your own. You mean my own personal abilities will increase if I win the game? Precisely. But I'm afraid we're still in the process of gathering data, so only one city is available for, for play at the moment. You'll be able to play other cities once you've collected enough data, but unfortunately you'll have to wait a while for that. Ordinarily, one play would cost 10,000 yen, but for this first time only, we'll let you test it free of charge. Well, that just about covers it. You can try it right out right away, or if you prefer, you can have me explain again. Play the game. Ah. Let's begin. Put it on. Oh my god, I have a wand. Hell yes, dude. Oh, I've got a strong attack.
Where are the enemies? Oh, there we go. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh no, it's another magical girl. Oh, there's a block button? Oh shit, there's a block button. I win! Looks like you cleared it. Congratulations. You should now experience a boost to your own abilities. Hey, you've given us some great data. Maximum heat gauge. Hell yeah, dude. Good thing I'm a female gamer. Female gamer. That was going to be cure you and Majima. That's not a bad guess, honestly. Looking for a save point. Okay. I think we should take Dance of the Lady. <laughs> oh, we're gonna keep doing these sub stories. I think we're gonna do this. Oh, it looks like another Tatsuya thing, but not the master story. We're gonna take a little break and then we're gonna keep working. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a seventh one under the pink dot. We're going to keep working on sub stories, but let's take let's take one last break for tonight. Grab a drink, stand up, stretch. Oh, all that good stuff. I will be back.
Hey Walter. Luna with the AFK resub. Hello, Luna. How's it going? How are you? Resubbing while I was away. So brave of you. So brave and so bold. Okay. Let us get back. To business. Hopefully everybody had a good little break so that we are all set and ready to go here. All right, what's wrong with Tatsuya? Sorry, dude. Oh, Haruko-chan, it's you. Hello, Tatsuya-san. The perfect timing. I'm really sorry, but can I ask you a favor? A favor? Sure, what is it? We're just about to start the filming of a show segment on location. This is the director, Ichimura-san. Okay. I'm supposed to be doing a gourmet report right now, but unfortunately I have a really bad stomachache. Ow! I'm afraid I couldn't possibly eat anything at the moment, so I hate to ask you this, but do you think you could help me do the report? Great idea, Tatsuya. We are in kind of an emergency after all. But I've never done a gourmet report before. That's alright. Nobody expects you to be a food expert. All you have to do is try the dishes and give your honest opinion. <sighs> Ouch! Here comes another wave. <sighs> Are you alright? Oh, please, Haruka-san. You'd really be helping Tatsuya out. And you get paid too, of course. What do you say, Haruka? Will you help me do the report? Ow, ow, ow. Of course I will help with the report. Alright, if you think I can be of any help to you at all, I'm willing to give it a try. You will? Oh, thank goodness, you're a lifesaver, Haruka. I really appreciate this. Tell you what, I'll call Dinochair and make the arrangements. Now, let's get over to the restaurant. Everybody's waiting for us. Okay. Give my honest opinion on food, eh? I think I can manage that. Okay, Haruka-chan. Here's where we're filming the report. It's a Japanese cuisine restaurant named Komian. Oh. I love this place. They've got good fucking food. I was thinking I would introduce each dish and then you could taste it and give your opinion. How does that sound? Uh, Tatsu can't try the food himself right now, but with his stomach ache and all. So his role will be to explain and give commentary. All you have to do is follow my lead and make a few remarks about each dish. Alright, I'll do my best. Great. Are you ready? It's time to get started. Give me the food. Haruka the Empty Void will now commence eating. Well, here we are at Komian, a Japanese restaurant in Sodenburg. And today, we have a special guest. Wildly popular singer Haruka Sawamura-chan. Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm Haruka Sawamura. You live and work here in Osaka, don't you, Haruka? Have you ever been to Komian before? Uh, I mean, it is actually my first time, and from the perspective of, like, giving a, f a food review of the place, 
you wouldn't want any biases going in, right? So even if it wasn't my first time, I should say it's my first time. Hi. No, this is my very first time. I can't wait to see what kind of dishes they'll serve. <laughs> well, you're in for a real treat. I had to eat my way across all of Sotenbury before finding this jewel. Today, you'll get to enjoy the refinement and elegance of the traditional Japanese cuisine. I'm really looking forward to it. The first dish is Komian's sashimi platter. Raw slices of fish so fresh, they were actually still swimming in the tank just moments ago. Oh my god, look at that. Mm. I would eat it. I would eat it. I would eat the food. Really? That's amazing. This dish has been prepared especially for you, so I really hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Um, nom, 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 nom. Well, Haruka-chan? Mm, it's so good. The fish is so fresh, but what do I say about it? it? Melts in your mouth. This sashimi is practically melting in my mouth. Wonderful, isn't it? You only get to experience such a sensation with the very freshest sashimi. Hi. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> I knew you would like it. I was looking forward to seeing that delightful smile of yours. Aw, well thank you. It really is so soft and yummy. I can see why you'd recommend it. Cause it's fucking delicious. It's amazingly tasty. Everyone should want to eat it. Ah, here it comes. Komian's Matsutake set. Mmm, what a wonderful aroma. Yes, Komian uses the freshest of domestic matsutake mushrooms to prepare this dish. Now then, if you would please give it a try and tell us what you think. I'm gonna eat it all up. It's probably gonna be fucking delicious. Well, what do you think? Mmm, this is wonderful too, but what kind of comment should I make this time? I don't think I could ever get enough of this flavor. I could see myself getting really addicted. It is wonderful, isn't it? But I'm afraid it isn't often one gets a chance to eat such premium matsutake as these. Then I guess it wouldn't be very practical to get addicted, would it? Once you've had Komian's matsutake, you won't be satisfied by any other. I'm afraid I've spoiled you for life. <laughs> yes, I suppose you have. That's not all. Komian has one final ace up its sleeve for you, so make sure to save room. Really? Another dish? I can't wait to see what it is. Here it is, Komian's Ace. It's not on the regular menu. Grilled Marbled Wagyu. The finest cut of premium Japanese beef. Wagyu beef. Oh my goodness, it looks absolutely delicious. It's not normally offered, but I had to make it specially for you. It's the ultimate melt-in-your-mouth beef. I think it might be difficult to put into words just how delicious it is. But I dig but I digress. Go ahead and try this crowning jewel of today's segment for yourself. Hi. Okay. Wow, I feel so lucky. I would feel lucky to... Microwave to perfection? You're a monster. How could you say such a thing? Oh my goodness, it really is melting in my mouth, but what should I say? You don't even have to chew it. Mm, it really does seem to just melt in my mouth. It's like I don't even have to chew it. Exactly, that's premium marbled wagyu beef for you. There's nothing like Japanese, J Japan's finest. I saw it in another Discord yesterday, so it reminded me. The what, that you're a monster? It's so soft, I almost hate to chew it because I don't want it to be gone. Yes, this is indeed a food that makes people happy. The word delicious doesn't even begin to do it justice. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I'd say watching you eat is a joy in itself, Haruka-chan. Well, I'm glad, thank you. Okay, cut. That's a wrap on the Gourmet Report segment. Thank you, you two. We crushed it. That someone microwaved it? Yeah, and the fact that you thought it was funny makes you a monster. You really saved me, Haruka-chan. You have my deepest thanks. I was happy to do it. How are you feeling now? A little better, thanks. But I think if I tried to eat anything, it would have been bad news. You did a great job with the report. Amazing for someone who's never done one before. I couldn't agree more. You really saved us. I don't know. What, I didn't know what we were going to do. Yeah, sorry about that. 
But, you know, I really like the back and forth between the two of you. You made it a much livelier segment, Harkachan. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you very much. Thank you again for doing this on such short notice. Here's the payment I promised. Little money. A dream job for a girl with a black hole for a stomach. Now that's just mean. How could you say something so mean, yet so brave? <laughs> wow. It's Udasan from the Sutenbury Merchants Association. Hello, Udasan. What brings you here? Oh, Sawamura-san. What a coincidence. Do you think you could spare a minute or two? There's something I'd like to show you. Something to show me? What is it? Take a look at this. A photo of me? I saw a junior high school student with it on the street, but I know for a fact this didn't come from Dinochair. Someone is stalking and secretly taking pictures of you, then selling those photos without permission. Someone's taking pictures of me? I honestly had no idea. The work of a paparazzo, no doubt. I suppose those that sort of thing happens to many idols, but the Merchants Association just can't allow it. It would damage our reputation to have unauthorized photos like this one being sold on the street. I want to get this no-good creep out of our town, and I'd like to get your cooperation, Samura-san, if I may. My cooperation? But what can I do? Well, this paparazzo might be pointing his camera lens at you from the shadows this very moment. That's how close he might be at any given time. So if you ever get the feeling someone is watching you, it might very well be this paparazzo. Please be vigilant at all times, especially on the street. And if you happen to notice this paparazzo, could you please give me a call? I'll drop everything and come running. Well, Dinosaur really should be the one looking into this, but yes, of course, I'll do what I can to help. Wonderful, just promise you won't try to apprehend him yourself. We don't know what kind of man we're dealing with here. He could be dangerous. All you have to do is call me. I'll take care of the rest. All right, thank you. Remember, stay vigilant and take care. Thank you, Sawamura-san. Spooky. Spooky, scary skeletons. Send shivers down your spine. this funny feeling I'm being watched. <gasps> the paparazzo must be somewhere nearby. Find the paparazzo who's secretly taking pictures of Haruka. But take one step and he'll realize you're onto him and run away. Without moving from the spot, press R3 to switch to first person view and look around for the paparazzo. I found him. There! That must be him. I better call Uda-san. Hello, Uda here. Is that you, Sawamura-san? Yes! He found the paparazzo. He's wearing a fishing vest. Great work. What is he doing now? Oh no! He just took off. It looks like he's heading toward West Shofukuchu. Shofukucho. I, I can literally that street name. Shofukucho Street. Alright, I'm on my way. Don't let him out of your sight. Alright, I won't. Ah, uh, he is way out of my sight. Paparazzo is headed toward West Shofukucho. Shofukucho. I'd better get after him before he gets away. He, like, super duper got away. He's, like, around the corner, turbo gone. Did I lose him? Where is he? Oh! Have to find him fast. Do, 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 ding. There he is. That's the paparazzo. He took off again. The paparazzo is running away. He's heading toward West Sotenbury Street. Where are you now, Uta-san? I'm almost to Shofukucho. Please keep him in your sights just a little bit longer. All right. We can't let him get away. We'll find him. And then we'll murder him with our 
dance powers. Salmura san, I found it. He's right there. Get him. There he is. That's the paparazzo. Got it. Leave this to me. Get him. Take him out. Put him in the grave. End him. Bam, 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 bam. Ba ba dum bam bam ba dum bam. God, a nice going, Samura san. I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Just let me go. I never noticed that someone was following me and taking pictures. No idea, right? You wouldn't believe the lengths to which we go to stay unnoticed. It's practically an art. Art? I'll give you art. I'm kicking you out of this town. If I ever see you here again, I'm calling the police, understood? Understood. Thank you very much for your help, Samura san. On behalf of the entire merchant association, I'd like to give you the small token of appreciation. It's not a sandwich! Well, this isn't the last you'll see of paparazzi. Wherever there's an idol, that's where we'll be. Can it, buddy. Now get lost and never come back. Yes, sir. You punk-ass, bitch-ass, piece of shit. Four thousand experience points. That, that text box just lingers so long. Heal me Mega Mix. Maxed. Um, heat gauge. Rainbow shooting star? <gasps> I want it. Oh, got one right back over here. Let's do it. Oh, sorry. My bad. Excuse me. Pardon me. Avid fan. Hey, you're Harukachan, aren't you? Hmm? It is you. I knew it. I'm a big fan of yours. I always watch you on TV. I can't believe I'm seeing you out and about like this. Harukachan from the Princess League? No way. You gotta be kidding me. Harukachan is here. Hey, they're saying Harukachan is over here. You get your eyes checked any time recently? She's right there. Hello. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Harukachan. Me and my big mouth. Look at all these people. No, no, it's all right. Really? You mean it? In that case, could I have your autograph? Hey, I want an autograph too. Haruka-chan, me too. Can I have your autograph too, Haruka-chan? Okay, everybody, just calm down. Don't mob the poor girl. What are you talking about? You're the bulb who came up with the bright idea. You'll be a good girl and give us your autograph now, won't you? Hi. Of course. I'd be happy to give everyone my autograph. Great. Okay, people, listen up. Please form an orderly line. We don't want to block traffic here. Wait your turn and no pushing. Who died and made you king? Okay, Haruka-chan, we're all ready for you. All right. Thank you. Seems... Oh, is this a handshake? Oh, no. Okay. I don't think so. Hey, me first. <laughs> Wait till the boys see this. Who shall I make this out to? Can you do Yasuhiro Yamasaki? All right, let's see. Yasuhiro Yamasaki. Here you are, did I get it right? Yep, you got it. Hey, thanks, the boys are gonna be so jealous. You're very welcome. This is a complex name simulator. I'm next, Yuri. Who should I make it out to? Make it out to Misaki Takahashi. Misaki Takahashi. Great name, huh? Good thing I live up to it. Misaki Takahashi. Misaki Takahashi. Thank you, Haruka. I'll be rooting for you, girl. This is so exciting. I can't believe I'm going to get your autograph. I'm a huge fan. <sighs> Toshikazu Sekiguchi. Toshikazu Sekiguchi. Toshikazu Sekiguchi. 
Toshikazu Seki Uchi. I love the little waddle that they do forward. This is beautiful. I'll treasure it forever. My whole family watches, always watches you on TV, you know? Hideaki Ishikawa. Hideaki Ishikawa. Hideaki. Hideaki Ishikawa. Hideaki Ishikawa. Just like the famous action star, my favorite of his is that one where he lays the smackdown on all those street thugs. Man, I wish I was as cool as him. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Thanks for the autograph, Haruka-chan. You're welcome, dude. It's my turn. I saw you on TV. You did? Thanks for watching. What's your name? It's Akuharu Fukushima. Aku Akiharu Fukushima. Akiharu Fukushima. Akiharu Fukushima. Akiharu Fukushima. That's a pretty complex name. Akiharu Fukushima. You really know how to spell that? Akiharu Fukushima. Akiharu Fukushima. Akiharu Fukushima. Akiharu Fukushima. Did I get it right? Yeah, that's perfect. Woohoo! Was it hard to spell your name when you were first learning to write? Nah, it was easy. What kind of dummy would I be if I couldn't write my own name? Yeah, I guess you're right. Also a little bit of a smart mouth sh little shit, but you're not wrong, I suppose. You little turd. Alright, people, you all got your autographs. This session is now officially over. Like I said before, who made you king? Thank you very much for your time, Haruka-chan. You're welcome. Thank you all very much. I hope you'll all continue to support me. Of course we will. Good luck, Haruka-chan. You're the best. I'll be watching you on TV. We all wanted to thank you, so we all pitched in and got you this. We're sorry for swarming you earlier. Ah, huh, that's very nice. Better split before anybody else shows up. All right, people, let's give Haruka John a big round of applause. You want the whole town to come running over? Might as well get on the bullhorn. Oh, right. Sorry. He's just an excitable lad. 3,000 experience points. Hell yes. Uh, let's go do the dance battle. Boy, I got really stuck on that for a second. That was weird. Oh, uh, the person who wanted to have a dance battle with me should be around here somewhere. Are they on the south side? Nah. Oh, there she is. Hey, over here. Are you Haruka Sawamura, that idol everybody's talking about? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I'm Haruka Sawamura, but I don't know about the everybody's talking about part. As if. You're the talk of the town around here, didn't you know? I keep hearing about this idol dancer who's on the prince who's on the Princess League and how she's been taking out down the dancers around here one by one. That may or may not be me. No comment. Oh, really? Sorry about that. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. The dancers who lost you are the ones to blame, right? That's right. I got a message that someone wanted to have a dance battle with me. Oh, right. Yeah, that would be me. I wanted to see if all the rumors, all these rumors were true. I'm Maki, the leader of a dance group called the Hipsters. I really hope you'll accept my challenge. The genre is hip-hop. Hip-hop? Yeah, I don't suppose you do much hip-hop, being an idol and all. But that's the only kind of dance I do. I'm injured right now, too. I won't be able to give 100%, so I guess that'll make us about even. What do you say? Want to take me on? I'm not scared of you. Hi. With your fucking C rank. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> Heh, I can see why you're doing so well in the Princess League. You've got spirit, I like that. Let's not waste any more time, then. Down to business it is. You'll love to see it. <laughs>
You are about to get stomped, Miss Turning Point. Hell yes. No way. Aki lost? Whew. You're good. I know I'm not at the top of my game yet, but I still can't believe you beat me at hip hop. Thank you. I wonder you're doing so great in the Princess League. This is an entirely different genre, but you have all the basics down. I really underestimated you. Well, you got me this time, but next time we dance, things will be different. I'll be all healed up and in top form. Then we'll see what happens. I guess we will. Thanks for doing this today. Anyway, I guess I'll be seeing you. All right, you two, let's go. Okay. Bye, dancers. Phew, I pulled it off, but it wasn't easy. Hip-hop is tough. Haruka. Oh, Ak Akari, did you see the battle just now? Mm. I did. Haruka, you're just incredible. I can't believe you actually beat Maki. You really have talent, you know that? Mm. But you're really talented too, Akari. I have to apologize to her for what happened. Uh -huh. Akari, I've been wanting to talk to you about last time. I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Haruka. Huh? About last time. About my attitude. I'm really sorry. You and Christina didn't do anything wrong. It was all my fault. Mm. I was just about to apologize to you. I'm sorry, Akari. I felt so bad ever since that happened. I've been thinking about you all th this whole time, but I was too scared to call you. What a terrible friend I've been, not even trying to talk to you when I knew how much you were hurting. I'm so sorry, Akari. Mm. I felt the same way. I've been wanting to apologize to you this whole time too, but I was just too afraid. Some friend, huh? Yeah. Akari, hey, have you been keeping up with your dancing? Huh? Yeah, sure. You know, dance is just about the only thing I have going for me. Well, I'm really glad to hear it. Hey, enough about all that. Let's just go back to being friends, yeah? <laughs> well, now that we've made up, what do you say we go get something to eat? My treat. Are you sure? That sounds great. Haruka can always eat. Okay, let me just go grab my things. I'll be right back. Haruka can always eat. Huh? Haruka-chan? Oh, you eat chan It's been a while. I think the last time we saw each other was at school when we ate lunch together. I think you're right. I haven't even gotten any emails from you lately. I've missed you. Sorry about that. I just figured you were busy with work and didn't want to bother you, you know? I'm back. Oh! Akari, let me introduce you. This is Yui Namiki. She goes to our school, too. Being a transfer student, I didn't have any friends at all at first, but Yui-chan went out of her way to be nice and talk to me. Sure, Yui and I know each already know each other. You do? Akari, Chan, and I live really close, so we always see each other on the way to and from school. That's how we became friends. But I didn't know the two of you were friends. What are you guys up to right now? We were just about to go get something to eat. Want to come with us? Really? You don't mind? Of course we wouldn't mind. Let's go together, all three of us. Yeah, okay. Great, then. Hey, what do you two say to Okonomiyaki? Hell yes. She's making friends. 
She's making friends and it's adorable. So you two have been doing dance battles huh? together, huh? I knew you were into dance, Akari-chan. I bet Haruka-chan's pretty good, huh? She's incredible. She even beat Maki from the hipsters. You should have seen it. It was amazing, right, Haruka? She gave me a real workout. If she hadn't been injured, I don't know if I would have won. Yeah, right, Haruka. You should have more confidence in yourself, girl. You're a pro now, remember? I guess you're right. Well, let's eat. Hey, Yui. Your okonomiyaki is burning. Yikes, it's starting to smoke. What? No way! Oh, my poor Okonomiyaki. What do I do? I can't even remember the last time I went out to eat with friends. I feel so happy right now. Haruka being happy makes me happy. Phew, I think I ate too much, but it was so yummy. Your eyes are bigger than your stomach, Akari. Hey, you ate more than I did. I had so much fun today. I don't have any friends and I'm always working, so I never get the chance to do anything like this. That's why this day meant so much to me. You think if you two are ever free, we could maybe do this again sometime? Yeah. Haruka, are you hearing yourself right now? Yeah. Huh? Of course we can. As a matter of fact, we're dragging you out again with us next time, like it or not. I mean, we're friends, right? Yeah. That's right. Gosh, you two. Hmm. Thank you so much. Silly girl getting all serious on us. Well... You have to go, but remember, we'll be coming for you soon enough. See you later. Yeah, yeah I, I'll email you, okay? Bye, Haruka-chan. Bye, friends. Sure is nice to have real friends. Friendship. I have no idea, I had no idea you and Yui were friends. The three of us should get together again. I'm always really impressed when I see you dance. Keep at it. I'll be in touch. Adios. Okay. So wholesome. That was tasty. I'm glad I ran into you today, Haruka Chan. You're probably busy, so I didn't want to bother you too much. I'll send you another email sometime. That that Okonomiyaki was pretty tasty. We'll go we gotta go again. Getting an email from friends sure cheers me up. I feel like I can work even harder. An email from Akari. Akari here. Are you busy now, Haruka? I have a favor to ask. I have another dancer friend who wants to dance with you. Can you make it to the entrance of Boon Simon Outdoor Mall? I'd appreciate it if you could go and see them when you Get a chance, so I keep asking you. See you around. All right. Oh, the guy's there again for for comedy duo. Yeah, let's do round two of this. I'm sure it, it will go great. And nothing bad will happen. We passed the first edition, so you got an idea. Yep, okay. Here we go. Round two. Good luck to me. Oh. え、
あくまで僕はヒーローやえどういうこと胸の奥には熱いものが煮えたぎってるねえどういうことピンチの時にはそれをシャーって撒き散らすねやっぱ敵やんそれだけやないで地球軍のミサイルとか全く聞かへんねん新開発のレーザー砲とかでも聞かへんねんそうですかシャーレンってあくまで正義のヒーローやでやっぱ敵やんかなあまりに無敵やと今度は親しみ分かへんやろえどういうことせやか弱点あんねんおなんでしょう女の子には弱いねん女の子女の子の怪獣を見るともうあかんねん怪獣で敵やんそうムラムラして我慢できなくなるねん何しとんねんそれでな我慢できなくなるとな最後は大体俺が爆発して終わるねん終わりかいもうよどうもありがとうございました I don't think I got enough but I tried Yeah. Oh, it's hard. It's so hard to keep up with. That's that that style of Japanese comedy, like the rapid fire back and forth, is just a lot. It's just a lot to keep up with, like mentally. But I believe in myself. I can do this. Hello, Haruharu. Is Haruka? Is there something you have? Yes. 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 せやな。お願いして、街で大暴れしたいやん。ドカーン中でビル倒したり。え、それ敵ちゃうやん。メットカッからピーってビーム出したいやん。口から炎も出したいやん。完全に敵やん。シャーレンって、あくまで僕は
My mother is, and I am too. They always told me I'd be beautiful when I grew up, and as you can plainly see, I am. But if you think you can be an idol around here and not know who I am, you've got another thing coming. We idols are very particular, you know. I'm very sorry. I still have a lot to learn. Exactly. And don't you think you've been letting your success go to your head lately? You're not even that cute, but you suddenly get a few fans and now you're all full of yourself. Show-offs like you make me absolutely sick. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come across that way. I've seen you with that snooty smug look on your face, twisting and gyrating all over the stage, doing those dance battles or whatever you call them. Hmm. You should be downright embarrassed if you ask me. A potato would make a better dancer than you. Um, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I'm sorry if I did something to upset you. Truly, I am. Ha! One itty-bitty apology isn't going to cut it, sister. I came all this way to Sotenbury only to find everybody making a big fuss over a little nothing like you. What a joke. What do you call those thingies again? Dance battles? Okay, then let's see you do one right now. I, the great Ulala, will be your opponent. What? You want to have a dance battle with me? That's right. What, is there something wrong with your hearing, too? Oh, you make me so mad. Hm, that's all right. You'll get your ear. You'll get yours when I completely annihilate you in front of everybody. Unless you're too scared to take me on, that is. I mean, who could blame you for thinking you're no match for the great Ulala? All right, we'll go. All right, you're on. Great. Just try not to cry when I beat you. Okay. did it I lost after the performance I just gave how could I have lost Grr. how could a little stick like you possibly beat me it doesn't make any sense I worked so hard on my wardrobe and my diet so I could become a top idol do you have any idea what I've been through um no but now I'm hungry and it's all your fault I'm gonna go get some takoyaki you wait right there okay bring me some too mmm that was good I had three helpings because of you. Thanks for that. Three helpings? But I thought you were trying to diet. Shut up. Who asked you? What I really wanted to have was cake, but I stopped myself. But what would you know? You could never understand. Oh no, what time is it? The t-shirt sale at the supermarket is just about to end. They're on sale for only 500 yen each. If I miss that sale, it'll be all your fault. Wait a minute. When you said you've been working hard on your wardrobe, did you mean bargain t-shirts? When there's a supermarket sale, you have to go in prepared for battle. They're serious business. That may be true, but a Barkin t-shirt isn't really what most people would call fashionable, don't you think? You've got something to say about everything, don't you, you little stick girl? I'll get my revenge on you. Just you wait. You better enjoy your life while you still can. Okay, bye. Wow, Lala sure is something. Okay, bye. <laughs> Yeah, my manager told me I won't last much longer. Yeah, Mom, I know. If that happens, I promise I'll come home. We both knew the entertainment business wouldn't be easy. Yeah, okay. I'll talk to you later, alright? Yep, bye. Oh, you're Haruka-chan, aren't you? Hmm? Yes, that's right. Do you remember me, by any chance? Um, right. Of course you don't. Why would you? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Where did we meet? The Princess League. I'm kind of an idol too, actually, but you knocked me out in one of the early rounds. Oh. oh. But hey, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm holding a grudge against you or anything. I want you to know that. My name is Asuka Sugino. I'm with the agency Blue Skies. Well, for now, anyway. They might not renew my contract. Is that because you didn't win the Princess League? I wish I could say it's not because of that, but yes, I think that's a big part of it. My manager even hinted as much. I see. You've been on TV a lot since then, haven't you? I always watch you on the Princess League. I hate to admit it, but the people who are left on the show sure are a lot better than me. My self-taught style just can't compete, I guess. Don't you have an instructor that gives you lessons? I do, but he spends all of his time with the cuter, more talented girls at the agency. And ever since I lost in the Princess League, my manager has been concentrating on the other girls even more. And I haven't had any gigs. That's awful. I guess I can understand it, though. I just don't have the promise those other girls do. My manager even told me he might be ending my contract, depending on how I do in the next event. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. Here, I get this. Here, I get this nice chance to talk to you, and I spend the whole time complaining. Oh no, you no need to apologize. I completely understand how you feel. Your contract might be ending soon, and I can't help but feel responsible. I wonder if there's anything I can do to help her. Asuka-chan, when is your next event? It hasn't been set yet, and it isn't really my event. It's not like anybody would come to see just me. I'll just be opening for one of the other girls at my agency. My manager said that's the best he can do for me. Well, until then, if you'd like, maybe I can help somehow? Help me? For example, is there anything you feel unsure of when you're on stage? Maybe I could share some of the things instructors taught me. You'd do that for me? Oh, thank you. Yes, I actually have a really hard time with dancing. And it's not like I just feel unsure. I'm genuinely terrible. I've hardly had any lessons either. Well, if you need lessons, why not give dance battles a try? Dance battles? That's right. I've learned a lot from doing dance battles myself. People have dance battles on the streets all the time. It's like we get to know each other's instructor and help one another grow. It's like we get to be each other's instructor. And some of the dancers are self-taught, just like you. I learn something new every time. I honestly had no idea that was even a thing. You know, you and I could have a one, one together right now if you think that might help in any way. Sounds like fun. Okay then, Haruka-chan, let's have a dance battle. Oh, I'm gonna wipe the floor with this poor girl. I feel bad. Turning point. Wow, you really are good, Haruka. I could never compete. But look how good you are, and you're completely self-taught. Yeah, well, I can still tell I'm nowhere near any kind of match for you. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, Haruka-chan, you've been so nice to me. Do you think I could have your cell phone number? I'd love to call you sometime, if you don't mind, that is. Oh, okay, Asuka-chan, that'd be great. Great, I'll call you then. I'll be looking forward to it. Still, I've been thinking, you've done so many of these dance battles, and they've helped you get to where you are today, right? I mean, compared to you, what have I been doing with my time? I get kind of down just thinking about it. Asuka-chan. I have a little brother, by the way. Hmm? He's the reason I want to be an idol. Unlike me, he's really, really smart. And I'm not just saying that because I'm his sister. Anyway, we don't have a lot of money, so I'd love to help send him to a good private school. I thought maybe if I could do well as an idol, I could use his, the money for his education, but things aren't really working out like I planned. But now that you've given me some pointers on dancing, I'm finally starting to get my hopes up again. If I work really hard up until the next event, maybe I'll be able to keep going. That's the spirit. Good for you. Well, is there anything else you want to work on in particular? I guess it would be my stage presence. You know, my movements and facial expression on stage. I feel really awkward up there. Your stage presence, huh? Maybe you could give me an example. Show me how it's done. That would be awesome. Want me to show you what I do? Yes. Would that be all right? Of course. I'd be happy to do that for you. Really? Oh, thank you, Harkachan. I'll be right here waiting, so whenever you're ready, just come let me know, okay? I mean, not quite. I'm trying to help her. Yeah, I'll show you how it's done on stage. Here you go. 
I don't know how much of an example I can be. I'm actually kind of nervous, but I'll certainly do my best. All right, here we go. I'm trying to help her, Luna. I'm not trying to hurt. So this is your agency? You really have lessons here all the time? That's right. Welcome to Dino Chair, Asuka-chan. Thank you for the warm welcome. All right, are you ready? I'm going to play some music and show you how I do a live performance. It isn't much, but if you think it'll be of any help at all, I'll be, sh I'll be sure to do my very best. I really appreciate this, Haruka-chan, and yes, I think it'll be a big help. Aye, 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 my little butterfly. Green, black, and blue make the colors in the sky. Aye, 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 my little butterfly, green, black, and blue make the colors. Oh, oh, I see. I see what you did. I got you. It wasn't bad if I do say so myself. It was literally perfect. You can't do any better than that. Maybe you could get a better score with better uh, idle power optimization, but, like, I didn't miss a note, so. Wow, Haruka-chan, that was amazing. I couldn't have looked away if I wanted to. I thought you were pretty great during the Princess League pre preliminaries, but you've gotten even better since then. Ah, thank you. I really learned a lot watching you, and you helped me see what I need to work on. I'll have to work as hard as I can if I want to do well at the next event. Oh, good luck, Asuka-chan. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you, Haruka-chan. You know, this is the nicest anybody has been to me since I came to Osaka. I'll do everything I can to say in this business. Thank you for all of your help, Haruka-chan. You're welcome. I am a good person. All right, three sub stories left. One straight ahead, one a little bit on the other side, and then one at our agency. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, hello. Hi, it's me, Asuka. Thanks again for the lessons. Oh, I didn't do much, but you're certainly welcome. Are you kidding? You really helped me out a lot. 
Thanks to you, Harker John, I'm enjoying singing and dancing more than ever. I felt I feel like a brand new me. Really? I'm so glad. But um, can I ask you a favor? Sorry this is so sudden, but do you think we could meet? Sure. Is everything okay? I'll just tell you when I see you. I'll be waiting for you where we first met, on the Shofukucho side of the river. I really appreciate this, Harkachan. Sorry again to just ask you out of the blue. See you soon. That's just back in the direction that I was. Harkachan. Oh, wow! Look at you! Oh, Asuka-chan! Oh, your outfit! Does that mean you're about to have your event? That's right! That's why I needed to see you, actually. If I don't do well, I'll have to pack it all in and go back home. Oh, Asuka-chan! You're nervous, aren't you? Really nervous. Ever since I found out about the event, it's like I've been frozen. I'm so scared I'm gonna mess everything up. Do you think you could come to the event with me? I don't think I can do this alone. Of course I'll go with you. Oh, thank you, Harka-chan. You're the best. No problem. Easy peasy. This is silly, right? I mean, it's not like it. It's not even like anyone's here to see me. I'm just opening for somebody else. Still, I'm so nervous. Of course, it's okay. After you just went through to all that trouble to show me how it's done, I bet you feel like you wasted your time on me, huh? Poor Asuka chan, what can I say to help her feel less nervous? Uh. I don't, I don't like this approach. Like, some people would do this, and it may work for some. But I think just re-encouraging her to do the best that she can do is the only thing that we can really do to help her out. Asuka-chan, all you can do is your best. Just get out there and try your hardest. I have been trying. I've been trying so hard. How can I possibly try any harder? I know. I'm sorry. But I guess you're just going to have to find it within yourself somehow. Oh, that's, this is not helping. Uh, that did not help. Asuka, what are you doing? You're on any second. You can't stand around chatting with your friend. I'm sorry. This might be your last event. Make sure you give it everything you've got out there. No regrets, you hear? You okay, Asuka-chan? Well, I wouldn't exactly say I'm okay, but I have to do what I have to do, right? Ever since I met you, I've been working as hard as I can. I've been getting into dancing more, and it's helped me feel a little more confident. Now that I have some hope again, it makes me scared to think it could all end with this event. I just know it, I could be better. I could be a better singer, a better dancer. What do I do, Harkachan? I'm so nervous. Oh, man. I don't like any of these. Hmm. Between one of these, this is a shitty one, but it's between one of these two. Alright, Asuka-chan, that's enough. Keep your chin up. No more crying. Asuka-chan. If you want to cry, you can cry after your performance. Right now, it's time to get out there and show them what you're made of. I know, I know, but... No buts! You have to focus on your performance. You can do this, Asuka-chan. But I just can't focus no matter how hard I try. Nope. No more negativity. It's time to get your head in the game. You know what? You're right. Okay. Good luck, Asuka-chan. Thanks. Crush it. You can do it. Hello, everybody. I'm Asuka Sugino. Who's ready for a good time? Now you can do this, Asuka-chan. I know she can do it, too. She'll crush it. Hey, Haruka-chan. Asuka-chan. Thank you so much again for coming with me to my event. You spent all that time with me even though you're so busy. It really meant a lot. I was happy to come. My manager just talked to me about my contract. He did? He told me he couldn't renew it, so I guess this is it for me. Oh, Asuka-chan, I'm so sorry. I thought I was trying hard and doing my best, but I guess that just isn't enough in this biz- That's just not enough in this business. Are you gonna be alright? You know what? I'm actually feeling better than I thought I would, and I think it's all thanks to you. 
You helped me get real with myself and admit my shortcomings. Of course, I wish it didn't turn out this way, but the fact that you were willing to be my friend means the world to me. Ah, Asuka-chan. I'm going back home to my family, but I'll be rooting for you, Haruka-chan. This dream of mine is over, but my little brother said he's going to save up money on his own and get himself into a good school somehow. Keep working hard for the both of us he from here on out, okay, Haruka-chan? I wanted to give you this to thank you for everything you've done for me. It isn't much, but please take it. Thanks again, Haruka-chan. Goodbye. Aw, oh, fuck. I don't know if I starred that one or not. I hope I starred it. It feels like maybe I didn't star it. No! Fuck! God damn it! How much time? How much time? So this is save at 8.43. Oh, wait. So a half hour? Fuck. Fuck. 44, 53, 18. Uh... Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I can see you all judging me. I don't care about your judging. Judge me all you want. Don't judge me, Slimmy. What? <laughs> Don't judge me. I can see all of you judging me. I failed a subquest and I reloaded a half hour. アイドルになることですね。そうなんや。僕はね、ヒーローに憧れるわ。それ難しいな。大きいヒーローになったらね。もう十分大きいしな。ちゃうね。大きいヒーローになりたい。え、どういうこと?お前がして、街で大暴れ
Okay, so I did that one. I did this one. Who does the same move? Haruka does? Okay, which one did I do next? I think I went straight down to do that next... That that one next. Okay, so the big chick? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't watch the dance moves that they do. To be honest. She also, she also is so offbeat that the bomb is all the way to the right on the meter, so... I don't think she gets to do any cool fancy moves because she's missing so often. Yeah, I saved right beforehand this time. Yeah, there was a lot of dialogue. That's the thing. I'm like skipping through it super fast now.
Well, I didn't FC it this time. I got a bad. Might as well restart the whole video game. Oop, my bad. I probably shouldn't save in the middle of this. I don't know what's going to happen. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> so I tried this and she did not like this. This was not the correct choice. So, the only other one that really even makes sense to me is that it's normal to feel nervous. We'll try it. It's only natural to feel nervous. I bet there isn't a person alive who doesn't feel nervous for stepping out on a stage. Even you? Okay, here we go. Here we go. That was a positive response. I get nervous every single time I have to appear in front of people. It helps me feel less alone. Thanks. I feel a little bit braver. Okay. Alright. Working as hard as I can. I think keep your chin up is the right answer for the second one. We'll see though. What do we got? Thank you so much for coming here. You spent all that time. Happy to come. Contract. Yeah, he's gonna redo the contract! We did it! First try. I'm gonna give the Princess League another try next year. My agent and season instructor said he would give me lots of lessons to get ready. My parents are so happy for me and it's all thanks to you. Oh. It's so rewarding. It's all thanks to your hard work. You stepped up and seized your opportunity when you saw it. Never could have done it if you hadn't helped me. That's why I wanted to... Just... Okay. She still gives you a stamina and spark. I'm going to study hard and take lots of lessons. Maybe you and I will even be rivals someday. Ah. My beautiful star. My beautiful star returns. Yes. Yes. Dude, the fact that you can throw that away with with one bad answer. Fuck, that's a rough one. I'm really glad that I've been saving semi-frequently today, because otherwise, that would have been shit. That would have been super shit. But honestly, it only took me about 10 minutes to run it back, which is about a third of the time that it took to run it through once, so... I will accept. Yeah, what is it? 921? What are we getting for our save time? Nine. Okay, no, it took 15 minutes to run back. It took half the time. My bad. 15 minutes for the run back. Because I saved at 9.11 and that's a 9.27 save. So, 16 if you want to get technical, but basically about a 15 minute run back. 
And we can do the last round of our comedy duo. Knock that out. I'm gonna be honest, when I saw comedy duo in the fucking... Oh, she's back. I'll come back to her. Comedy duo for now. I did not think Haruko was gonna be the one doing the comedy duo. Alright, here we go. Let's do this shit. All right, here we go. どうしたら女の子にモテるやつなんかええなってバイクとかじゃないバカよ。聞いた女の子に逃げてしてかへんとか誘うね。ロマンチックや。あ、あと一つになろうやとか言うね。かっこええやろ。ようなおんなのこと親密になれるやんほほバイクってなんか二人で乗るとどうしてもこうべったりくっつかなあかんロマンチックやんあ、ぎゅーって密着した状態でこう二人で同じ風を感じるんやでもっと気どきやんやめな
is a springing off point for so many other styles of music. Like it's a root. Classical music is a deep, deep root of all music that we know today. Just like this comedy do- routine that they're doing. Like this is fucking, uh, what's the, hold on. The name of this is, is ancient in Japanese culture. It's been around for so long. Um, Yeah, manzai, traditional style of Japanese culture, comparable to double act comedy or stand up comedy, involves two performers, manzai shi, a straight man and a funny man, tsukomi and boke, trading jokes at great speed. Most of the jokes revolve around mutual misunderstandings, double talk puns, and other verbal gags. It's literally a uh, trace based around a festival to welcome the new year. Manzai traces its origins back to the uh, the Heian period. And the Heian period in Japan is from 794 to 1185. So we're talking literally a millennia. Oh, no. Millennia is 1,000? 2,000? Millennium. 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 Period of 1,000 years. It's a millennia old. This is some old-ass comedy. Like highly refined very very specific uh <laughs> don't be hating on beethoven's fancy word number eight it's your favorite piece of all time like i said nothing wrong with listening to classical music and appreciating classical music just like there's nothing wrong with in like enjoying this comedy and appreciating it for what it is it's not my favorite form of comedy either but it is a very highly respected and very deeply cultural form of comedy for uh japan so this is this is like some classic uh some classic ass shit Oh, interestingly, this style of comedy is apparently in Nino Kuni. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for the duckies. Anyway, 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 anyway. I just think it's worth... I think it's worth noting that this is not something like a it sounds and looks like it hurts but that but that's the joke it's just like it's just like pro wrestling it's designed to shock and awe and not really designed to actually hurt people even though I'm sure just like pro wrestling people do actually get hurt because performance of of uh violence is a very hard thing to do correctly but my point is, like, that's the joke. You're nitpicking the joke. Perfect time is probably a part of it. Never got laughs this big with my old partner. Oh yeah, I know she's not paying attention. I don't care. This is this is for this is for everybody else. This is all thanks to your stellar jokes. Tell telling me things that like that's like gonna inflate my ego. What's eating ya? Just I'm going to miss this now that it's all over. Every ending is a new beginning. As they say, let's head out. I've been thinking, Arkachan, what would you say to carry on as my partner? We got real chemistry as a team, and passing this audition is bound to get us gigs on other TV shows, too. But I'm an idol. Oh, Haruo, there you are. Uh, Akihiko, what's up? I thought you found yourself a job. Yeah, but I changed my mind. Say what? I went to the job interview, but I pulled out at the last minute. They asked me what my goal was. I had a, goal, I had a good heart to think about that one. What is it I really want out of life? 
After about three minutes of the old gears turn, I told him all I wanted to do is conquer the comedy world, then I up and left. Man. Sorry for what I did to you, Haro. I realize I really do want to do comedy with you. Will you team up with me again? Say what? Come on, we'll crush it together. Congratulations on getting the team back together. Haruka-chan? Huh? Who's this cutie? My name is Haruka-chan. Nice to meet you. I'm one of Haruo's fans. Huh? For real? That's awesome. I'll be rooting for you, Haruo. I know one day you're going to rock the comedy world. Yeah. Yeah. I guess comedians and pop idols live in two different worlds. We gotta walk our own paths. What are you talking about? Idols? Nah, never mind. Anyway, whatever. We're a team again. Let's make this happen. Thanks, Haruo. Guess this is a goodbye, Haruka-chan. Maybe we'll run into each other on a TV show someday. This is your share of the audition prize money. Take it, Haruka-chan. 50,000 yen! This was a great experience for me. Comedy is pretty interesting. I'd love to give it another shot sometime. Glad to hear it. Oh yeah, if you ever feel like doing some comedy again, just let me know. They usually find me around these parts. No more auditions for us, but that doesn't mean we can't practice a comedy routine together. Alright, Akihiko, let's set a course for let's set course for the stars. We can talk over some joke ideas in the park over there. Yeah, let's ready up for the next audition. Yep, we'll pass this we'll pass it this time too. What do you mean this time too? There we go, we did it. Hardest minigame from original five completed because the remaster added a fucking meter at the bottom, which it should have had the whole time. It should have always had that meter. I don't even know how that would be fucking doable without that shit. Oh, it's revelation time? Amazing. Amazing. Here's Ulala san showing off an amazing move. She was saying she's from a town near Sotenbury. It's pretty impressive how she can pull off something that dramatic. Great. Rainbow Prism Star. Fuck yeah, dude. That almost killed you from laughter. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. It was pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. Uh, is that Revelations? Where is Revelations at? City Exploration? Masters? No. Coliseum? No. That wouldn't make any sense at all. Must be a minigame. Oh no. Oh no.
Okay, print circle is going to be a bit of a thing. Oh, it looks like some of the fish that I caught. During Harkus thing counted. That's awesome. How many teams done? Where the hell is my... I guess maybe it's just under abilities. Rainbow Prism Star. Yeah, I guess it's just under here. There's maybe one other revelation that... Uh, Haruka can find. Oh man, what a wild, what a wild video game this video game is. Mm, let's go this way. I can save again and then we can go do this next sub story. I feel like I made some good progress today, and then, uh... But, but we're probably- we've probably still got another entire day of Haruka time. At least. And then some. There's probably another day, and then some. Like... Next Sunday... And then at least part of the Sunday after, before Haruka is done, I, I would say. If I had to guess. Because we got about halfway through the missions for her side story, and we got um, we got way over halfway through her sub stories, but she's still got a few left, which I'm going to try to crank out here at the end of the night. Because if we just have missions left um, at her side story, I think that would be good. Trendy high schooler. Oh, look, it's Haruka chan. Hmm? Oh. Hey, you're right. Oh, I think those two are in my class at school. Hi, Haruka chan. It's been a while. I've been watching you on TV, you know. Still, where have you been? You hardly ever come to school anymore. You must be crazy busy now that you're getting so popular. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Uh-oh, I haven't been to school in so long. I can't even remember these girls' names. What do I do? We were just about to go have some okonomiyaki at that restaurant over there. Want to come along? Me? <laughs> hey, yeah. And then we can ask y'all about the show business. What do you say, Haruka? Wanna come? Should I go? I don't have that many chances to make friends at school. This might be a good opportunity. Of course. Alright. If you're sure you don't wouldn't mind, I'd love to come along. Oh, don't be so polite. We're classmates, aren't we? Yeah, let's go. I never get to eat out with somebody... I've never gone out to eat with somebody famous before. First try at that sentence was not correct. They're just on their phones. I guess I should get them talking. What should I talk about? Just drop the name bomb on them? Um, you two are pretty close, huh? Well, yeah, we grew up together. Oh, that must be nice. I moved here from Okinawa, so most of my childhood friends are still over there. I don't know, I'm super jealous you got to live in Okinawa. Okonomiyaki is delicious. Never miss out on Okonomiyaki. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Just get your boyfriend to take you to Okinawa, Madoka. Uh, how rich do you think he is? That ain't happening. Okay, this girl's named Madoka. I better not forget. <laughs> huh. You could always ask Shino-senpai Hiromi. Just tell him you want to go to Okinawa, see if he'll put up. Okay, Madoka and Hiromi. Please, like that's ever going to happen. This girl's Hiromi. I'm sure glad you didn't have to ask my classmates what their names are. Hiromi Madoka. Easy. Can't forget it. So, you know how skin dries out in the winter? That's why you gotta take care of your lips. Keep them plushy and kissable. It's no biggie during school, but you don't want to be on a hot date and puckering up with bone dry lips. You want them cute and tempting, yeah? <laughs> oh, no doubt, no doubt. You agree, don't you, Haruka-chan? Oh, uh, yeah. My lips get, get chapped all the time. 
Yeah, but you know how there's all kinds of lipstick? You gotta choose wisely. You know Connie-chan? She uses Bentendo's... Bentendo's... Marouge? Marouge? I don't... Going with it. You saw that on TV, didn't you? Is that why you're all about Marouge lately? Hiromi, use Apple. you use Appleton, right? Yeah, Appleton's the bomb. It's super glossy, so it makes my lips all shiny and perfect. They're throwing around all these brand names I've never heard of. I wish I knew what they were talking about. Hey, Haruka-chan, what do you use on your lips? Rouge, like how everyone spells rogue on the WoW forums. Yeah, that... Correct. I just know that how we pronounce the word rogue and how it, I see it in my head is ragu. That's how I remember how to correctly spell rogue. Is I'm like, it's the ragu. The ragu class. Huh? You mean like, uh, lipstick? Uh, to keep up with them. What should I, what should I say I use? Uh, well, Connie-chan is a person. Ragu. Good old ragu. <laughs> Microwave it. Uh, it was, this is wrong. I'll just say I use Appleton like she does. I use Appleton. <laughs> oh, really? That's the same as me. Yeah, cool, huh? I had to lie, but no harm in a little white lie, right? Oh, but Marouge is good, too. You should definitely give it a try sometime, okay? Sure, sounds great. I'll put Marouge on my list. You don't even have to, though. Appleton's the best. You can't go changing it because we're Appleton girls. I think that went well. Maybe we can be friends after all. Tasty microwave ragu. So anyway, Haruka-chan, I know you're busy, but what about school? Are you planning on going to college or anything? Hmm, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. There's just so much to do with work. Oh, so you might not have to deal with entrance exams or any of that? Uh, no, maybe not. Must be nice. Wait, though, if you're not going to take entrance exams, what's the point of going to school at all? Jeez, Hiromi, that was kind of mean, you know? I mean, it's not like Haruka-chan doesn't want to go to school or anything, right? School sucks. Right, I like going to school. Well, okay, but I'm still kind of confused. Why do you even bother with school, Haruka-chan? Uh, yeah, it's to study and learn about relationships. Like a robot. I think high school is a place where I can study and learn about things. It lets, it lets me learn about people, too. Oh, I get you. I bet you wish you could come to school more often then, huh? See, I told you. It's not like Haruka-chan doesn't want to come to school, right, Haruka-chan? It's just that I haven't made any friend many friends yet at school. Really? We can be friends if you like. <laughs> It'd be so cool to be friends with a celebrity. I can totally brag about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Haruka-chan. Can I tell my friends about you and how we're friends? Uh, well, sure. Of course. You just want to know me as a celebrity. I wonder if I can ever be just a regular friend. Woof. Must be so cool to be a pop star, Haruka-chan. You get to meet all sorts of celebrities all the time, don't you? Yeah, Haruka-chan. Didn't I see you on TV together with Nono Miyakun the other night? No way, really? I'm a huge fan of his. Did you get to talk with him, Haruka-chan? What was he like? Nono Miyakun? I don't remember him. No, I didn't talk to him at all. I don't really have any friends in the celebrity world. Sure, maybe not yet, but if you play your cards right, maybe you could even date Nono Miyakun someday. Don't like guy celebrities hit you up for your number or email? Is it true your manager won't let you date anyone? Doesn't that suck? No, there's nothing like that. So you've got a boyfriend then? No, I don't. Why not? It's no fun not having a guy around. Why don't you find yourself a boyfriend? Uh... Weird. Sort of weird. At least admirable? Right now, I want to concentrate on my career. I don't have time to get a boyfriend. Mm. I guess so. You're still trying to make it. Can't afford a scandal now, huh? And when you're a star, they put you on a diet so you can't eat what you want, right? Yeah? When you put it that way, maybe this being a star thing ain't all that fun. Oh, no. Work is fun. It does feel great when you have all those people cheering you on. Oh, but your fans, aren't they most like mostly like creepy otaku guys? <laughs> that doesn't really bother me. Mm. That's enough, Madoka. I'm your fan, Haruka-chan. You're going to keep at it, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks. These girls are all over the fucking map on conversation topics right now, and I cannot handle it.
Hmm, that was so yummy. Well, I guess we better get going. That was a lot of fun, Harkachan. Thanks for coming along. We don't get to see you much in school, so I'm glad we got to hang out. You're all right by us. Here, I want you to have this. Take it as a sign of our new friendship. Better be something useful. Fucking medicine. All right. Sorry we gotta rush off. We're meeting up with our boyfriends. Uh-huh. Sounds great. High school romance. Wow. Guess I managed to give up the conversation, but I feel completely exhausted. Yeah, me too. It's not that easy fitting in with other high school girls. Ah, it's Yui. Hi, Yui. What's up? I hope you don't want Okonomiyaki because we just had some. Those two girls are in your class, aren't they? Did you guys go eat Okonomiyaki together? Yeah. I'm jealous. I wish I could have gone and spent some time with you. Everything all right, Haruka-chan? Well, it's just those girls were talking about all kinds of stuff, but I just couldn't seem to keep up with the conversation. Maybe it's because I don't have a regular high school girl life. What with my job and everything? I guess I just don't really fit in. Aw, you don't have to worry about that, Haruka. Not everybody's like those two girls, you know? Huh? Different people like to talk about different things. I bet you aren't the only one who feels like she can't keep up with certain subjects. You really think so? Actually, I know so, because I'm the same way. I have a hard time finding someone to, something to talk about about with other people, but not with you. Aw, Yui-chan. You shouldn't have to work so hard to keep up with others, right? All you should have to do is be yourself. I like you just the way you are. That's the Haruka-chan I want to be friends with. You really like me just the way I am? Just the way you are. I'm so glad I ran into you, Yui-chan. If I hadn't, I would have been feeling pretty downright about now. <laughs> By the way, you are a regular high school girl, you know. That's how I think of you, anyway. You're not just some famous idol, you're you. Thank you, Yui-chan. You really cheered me up. Well, I guess you're probably all full now, but next time, let's go get some Okonomiyaki together, you and me. Yeah, that sounds great. It's nice that Haruka is getting kind of this experience of, like, some people will like you for who you are, and some people will like you for who they want to like you for. And that's... There is a stark difference in those two... Oops, my bad. Those two scenarios. Alright, let's go see what this substory is down in this area. That's where the magazine interview is? Interview. Oh, okay. Great. Let's do the magazine interview. Give some I'll give some really fun answers in case any of the kids see it. Oh, this is okay, got it. This is for the the Okinawa. Hello, I'm Haruka Samura. It's very nice to meet you. Welcome to Ryukyu Travel Publishing. I am Yara. Oh, are you from Okinawa? Born and raised. Haha. You can tell from my name? Yes. Now I feel like I'm back home. <laughs> That's great. It'll make for an excellent interview, don't you think? It certainly will. We wanted to make this unique, so we asked Okinawan children to write to you to write to you letters for the magazine. Eh, it's, not, it's not quite how those words should probably work, but that's all right. I accept it. The response was overwhelming. The greatest volume of mail we've ever received, in fact. You must be quite the celebrity there. Really? That's amazing. Space for the article is limited, so we picked just three letters. I'll read them to you, and then you can comment. Sound good? Hi. Sixth grade boy named Professor Cosmos. That's a pen name, I assume. Yes, all three letters are written under pen names. I guess Professor Cosmos is a big fan of outer space, huh? Dear Sawamura-san, I saw you dancing on TV. Wow, you're so cool. I'm not, athle I'm not athletic like you. I can't do even one pull-up, and the other kids make fun of me. What should I do? I had the same problem when I was a kid. So, any advice for Professor Cosmos? 
Um. I don't know. I think both of these are like good advice that you can provide in that situation. Like, this is the more, this is obviously much more passive, uh, which could be negative, but this is pretty aggressive, which also could be negative. Uh, obviously, this is not the right answer. I'm going to say prove him wrong. I would tell him that I'm so sorry the other kids tease him, but why not turn those hurt feelings into inspiration? He said he liked my dancing. Well, when I first started, I couldn't dance well at all. It took so much practice. My dance coach would probably say that I'm still not good enough, even now. But the important thing is to learn something new and just feel good about that. So my advice is to keep trying. Very wise. I think Professor Cosmos will be encouraged by that. See? Turn it into a little positive. All right. This is from I Heart Riona, a middle school boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. What? <laughs> Yeah, that pen name caught me by surprise, too. What a romantic fellow. An Okinawa boy with a crush on a girl named Riona. Could it be Mitsuo? And Professor Cosmos said he was in sixth grade. Could that possibly be Shiro? Sawamura san? Oh, sorry. Oops. I better focus. Here's what it says Dear Haruka, I've been watching you on TV and rooting for you. But I get kind of get jealous of everyone else on TV. They're all so good looking. There's a girl I like, but I don't think she likes me. Do you think it's because I'm not very handsome? Sounds like a passionate guy. As for his romantic dilemma. Yeah, looks aren't the only thing I think is definitely don't need to say that. That's no good. Uh, put some effort in your appearance. Yes, could work, but really, that's not the only thing. Sure, looks are a big part of what first attracts us to a person. The entertainment industry certainly puts an emphasis on looks, that's for sure. But they aren't the only thing. When a person truly likes someone, it has much more to do with personality, I think. For example, how kind the person is or how trustworthy. Character can play a bigger role than appearance. Even in the entertainment industry, it counts for something if you're attractive on the inside as well as the outside. What I'm trying to say is, if you really like this girl, show her the quality of your character and see what happens. Good luck. I'm sure your words will mean a lot to I Heart Riona. Who's going to be our last one? Now for the third. Uh, Dragon Mask Man. Uh-huh. Second year of middle, middle school. We all know who the fuck this is. <gasps> uh, is there something wrong? Oh, no, it's nothing. I misheard you. I'm sorry. Dragon Mask? That has to be Tai Chi. All three of these letters are from Morning Glory, for sure. Now I see why Ayaka told me to do a good job at this interview. Um, are you ready to continue? Oh, yes, please. My apologies. How do you do, Sawamura-san? I always watch you when you're on TV. You're the main topic of conversation at our house. We used to have people here... We used to have people who were like a mother and father to us, but they both left on long journeys. Oh, no, this would make me sad. Now I'm the oldest boy, so I've been trying to be responsible and dependable like they were, but it's not easy. What can I do to become more like them? Wow. Sounds like a very mature and thoughtful young man. Wise beyond his years. Any advice from Samurasan? You know what? Shame on your mother and father for leaving you all behind. That said, they probably already feel guilty about it. That feeling will make them come home someday. You just have to hold on a little longer. You're obviously an upstanding young man, and then the children all look up to you. Keep doing what you've been doing. You're already helping your family a lot. Gee, samura san Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. No need to apologize. You obviously have strong feelings about the situation. I think your words might be what Dragon Mask Man needs to hear. I'll print them with, with, with I'll, I'll print them without any edits. I appreciate that. Fucking music kicked in, man. Oh, that's so sad. 
Those were some fascinating answers. Thank you for coming. And thank you very much for having me. You gave some fantastic answers. I'm sure the children who wrote the letters will be thrilled. Well, I hope so. Um, would it be possible for me to read the rest of the letters? That were sent in? Oh, sure. I actually have them right here. Shall I have them sent to your agency? No, I'd like to take them with me now, if that's all right. Are you sure? That's a lot of heavy paper to carry around. It's okay. I'm stronger than I look. <laughs> you got it, then. And here's some compensation for your time. Thank you. Have to have you back soon. Like that. I like that very much. Fuck, man. That fucked me up. I didn't like that. Well, I did like it, but it made me sad. There's lots of letters in these bags. I'll be sure to read and answer every last one of them. Those pen names were so silly. They really think I wouldn't figure out their true identities. They remind me of someone else I know. They couldn't talk to me directly, so they wrote letters. They're so cute. I'm going to be honest with you guys. As much as I thought Yakuza 3 was kind of like, oh, you teleported in front of me. I'm Oh, and you're gone. Oh my god. She's 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 just Okay, anyway, I'm going to finish my thought. Oh, never mind, maybe I'm not. Dance battle with me should be around here somewhere. Oh, hi hi Akari. Anyway, as much as I didn't much care for Yakuza 3, I will not forget those kids and the fact that they are kind of continuing to remind us that that's a thing that happened. Not in like heavy handed ways, but just like the in a very natural way, like just as if this was a were real things happening to real people. That shit fucks me up real hard. I it is super duper sad that they both left the orphanage after spending that time with those kids and going through the difficulties that they did and helping them grow and every, and and like us being a part of that fuck man ugh anyway <clears throat> pressing on where's your friend Akari? let's well, a dance battle let's do it oh so you're Sawamura-san? ah yes that's right I had Akari invite you here for me. I'm Aya of a dance group called the House Queens. Nice to meet you. Oh, I bet you like house music, eh? I've heard all about you. I even hear you've been lording it over people ever since you beat Maki. I haven't been lording it over people. That's right. Haruka wouldn't do that. What a terrible thing to say, Aya. Well, never mind. It doesn't really matter to me either way. I'll just get straight to the point. I want to have a dance battle with you. The genre is house. Called it. House? Yep. It's what they it's what I do, but I bet it isn't your best genre, so I'll give you a handicap. How about it? You in? Bitch, I don't need no handicap. I'll whoop your ass. Toast. Didn't even send a chance. Huh? Are you for real? I can't believe Ayasan lost. Wow, Haruka, you did it. <sighs> well, I gave you a handicap, but you wouldn't have you would have beat me anyway. With all that talent, who can blame you for lording it over over people a little? I most certainly do not lord it over people. <laughs> 
I was just teasing. You know, something tells me we'll ha be having another battle someday. No handicap next time, though, okay? I'll kick your ass again. Bring it on. <sighs> Managed to pull it off again somehow. There's a lot more to house dancing than meets the eye. Unbelievable. First Maki and now Aya. You've got some amazing talent, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know about that. It was probably just a fluke. Oh, I'm sorry I keep asking you to come out here like this. I know you're busy. It's just there are more and more girls who want to battle you. Usually I tell them no, but when first-rate dancers like Maki and Aya ask, it's pretty hard to turn them down. Mm -hmm. No, that's okay. Besides, I learned a lot from battling such talented opponents. Yeah. You mean it? Well, it's a relief to hear you say that. Oh, by the way, are you free after at all right now? Mm -hmm. Sure, I have time. Yui and I are planning on going shopping. Want to come with? <laughs> shopping? I'd love to. <laughs> Great. I'll call Yui then. Dude, Ak Akari is like the best thing to happen to Haruka when she was having problems making friends in school. The fact that she, they, she just happened to be walking by that morning. Phew, we must have gone to a thousand shops, but we still didn't end up buying anything, did we? The prices were kind of high for a poor student like me. I'll have to wait for a sale. Yeah. What about you, Haruka? You you work and make money. I bet you can buy clo any clothes you want, huh? Huh? Oh, no, I'm still just a newbie when it comes to my job. Besides, I don't really care that much about clothes. <laughs> I can attest to that. I think I've only ever seen you in the same two or three outfits. Ha <laughs> Video game. Ouch, I'm afraid you might be right, though. Hey, do you guys mind if we stop by Don Quixote for a minute? Sounds good to me. Let's go. Dude, are we going to meet another friend? We should meet another friend. I think it'd be great if Haruka actually ended up with four friends. Are you all done shopping, yui chan mm. Yeah, I'm all done. I brought detergent and all kinds of other stuff we need at the house. Oh, that's right. You do the housework for your family, don't you? That's right. I have three little brothers, and now that mom's gone, I do all the cooking and laundry and cleaning. Wow, I didn't know that. What about you? Did you buy anything? Are you ready to leave yet? I'm going to go talk to Akari. Mm. Whenever I come to Don Quixote, I always see a million things I want. Someday when I'm rich, I'm going to buy everything in the store. Just buy the whole place out, huh? Mm. That's right. When I, then I'll have all the snacks and drinks I could ever want. 24-7. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Mm. Okay, let's go. Come on, Akari-chan. We're leaving. Coming! Oh, there's a key right there in this in the freaking Sega logo. There's a they hit a key up there, those assholes. Well, should we go home then? I guess. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Yeah. Seeing how we're all together, why don't we go to why don't we go to a print circle? Mm -hmm. Print circle? <laughs> Great idea. I haven't done that in a while. What do you say, Harkachan? Mm -hmm. Okay. Picture time. I hope it came out well. Yui, is it done printing yet? Not quite. Okay, here it is. Oh, this is going to be super cute. Oh, it is super cute. Oh, I like it. I haven't taken a print circle picture with friends in ages. How about you, Haruka-chan? Um, I don't think I ever have. What? Seriously? Yep. I'll treasure this one forever. Yeah, me too. It's so cute. Done it. All right, I better get home. Thanks for hanging out, you two. Yeah, yeah that was a lot of fun. See ya, Haruka chan. See ya. Thanks, you two. Print circle photo with my friends. Little things like this are really special. Oh my god. This part of the game is so cute. Is this Haruka Sawamura? I've heard rumors about you. I want a dance battle. I'm, I'm waiting at the parking lot in South Shofukucho. South Shofukucho Street. Another person who wants to have a dance battle. I wonder who it is this time. She's supposed to be waiting in the South Shofukucho parking lot. Okie dokie. But I'm getting this. Look at this key. Look at this dirty key location in the copyright. Lo uh, uh, I, um, what's the word for this? 
thingy. In the, it's in the copyright thingy of Club Sega. That's dirty. Okay. They even had outfits if they also wouldn't... Wouldn't let men in if, in if they didn't have women with them? That's kind of interesting. But also doesn't surprise me. Oh, I should check for a key in the golf in the golf center. Did you guys did you did you get a a print circle? Never mind, it's just straight to uh. Is it called print circle? Is that like a real life to? Uh, is that a direct translation and not an analog? I kind of assume that a lot of the stuff that shows up in the Yakuza games are analogs for copyright purposes, but. I'd be really interested to know if it was if it's literally a print circle. Like that's what they call it. It's a brand name or something that they just incorporated into the game. Uh I guess we did all the sub stories. Holy shit. The only thing we got left to do is go to work and do sub stories there. And this new dance battle. It's on South Shofukucho. South Shofukucho. This area. I don't know if it was Print Circle because you can't read Japanese. It was a store with a bunch of photo booths in it. Uh -huh. Do you still have the picture? Not sure where it ended up, but you do still have it. That's awesome. I wonder if, I thought it was my controller, but I wonder if it's just this game. I wonder if Yakuza 5 just has like some weird slowdown with the if you hold the controller forward too long or something weird like that. I didn't find any idols. Did you guys see any idols? Or I guess not even idols. Did you guys see any street dancers? I didn't see any street dancers that wanted to do a dance battle. Except the one that's always there. You should find it and frame it. Or like, uh, find a way to display it or something. I bet it's super cool. Did you guys dress up? Did you guys dress up? Is it this person? World weary man. You didn't dress up. You did dress up for Mario Kart. Have found that one. I have found that one while looking for the Prince Circle picture. Oh, that's adorable. Let's see. The person who wanted to have a dance battle with me should be around here somewhere. Haruka Sawamura, I've been waiting for you. Oh, let me guess. Jazz. Yes, and Jazz. I'm the lead. Oh, Jazzy Blue. Nailed it. The name is Judy. I'm the one who sent you that email. See how you beat Maki and Aya. People might start thinking I'm chicken shit if I don't go up against you too. So let's do this. The genre is Jazz. That's my thing. But if it's, it's, but it's not yours, I'm guessing. So I'll give you a handicap. Jazz? I don't need no handicap, game. Hi. <laughs> All right. Give me a handicap. It's fine, I guess.
Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Easy. Some serious editing filters and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, they take their pictures super duper seriously. Did Judy san really just lose? <laughs> now I see why Christina thinks so much of you. You know Christina san? Of course. There's hardly a single person in the dancing world who doesn't know who Christina is. Really? I don't like him very much myself. I mean, how can anybody trust a guy's judgment if he can't appreciate how good Akari is? Akari's my friend, you know. So maybe she's not the most flamboyant dancer, but she's precise and she looks good doing it. She has a solid foundation, so if she'd just come out of her shell a little more, she'd be a great dancer. That's what I thought, anyway. <sighs> now she's gonna quit dancing. It's a real shame. It really, really is. She quit? Akari quit dancing? Yeah. Aren't you two supposed to be friends? You mean you didn't know? She told me she was still dancing. <sighs> Knowing Ikari, she probably didn't tell you the truth because she didn't want you to feel guilty. After all, you can't say you're completely unrelated to the reason she quit, right? You know what I'm talking about. Hi. I do. I better go talk to her face to face. Yeah. That sounds good. I mean, you're friends, right? Oh, and could you give this to her for me? What is it? Dance Battle Summit Leaflet. Ooh, shit! What's this? It's a leaflet for the Dance Battle Summit. They're holding it over at the event hall over by Iwao Bridge pretty soon. I'm going, of course, and, Ma and Maki and Aya, too. There's going to be all kinds of great dancers there. And as a special guest, the world-famous choreographer Mitsu is going to be there, too. Getting his attention to be a huge boost to any dancer or choreographer's career. A choreographer? That's a Kari's dream. Eh. I know. That's why I want you to give her the leaflet. You will, right? Eh. Of course. Akari is my friend. <laughs> Good. I should be able to find her. You should be able to find her on Iwao Bridge if you go now. Okay, I will. All right. Good shit. I think that's most of the dance battle. Yep, we've got two dance battle stories left. Um, and a shitload of work missions. So many goddamn work missions. I really need to do some singing lessons. <laughs> uh, and we're crushing it on the sub stories. We've got Watami versus what uh, that one. This one is at work. The only reason we haven't done this one yet is because it's at work right now. And I haven't gone to work because that's where the story is. So. Awesome. I'm going to go save by Iwao Bridge so I don't forget that I can do this right away when we play again on Sunday. You found the photo booth pictures. The place we went to is called Siunt. Yes, you made inappropriate jokes. I mean, how can you not with a name like that? Oh, come on, controller. Or or video game. Honestly, I'm not sure which one it is. I'm probably just being too mean to my controller.
Okay. That will be it for tonight. We're all saved up. We'll go see uh, Akari right away when we start, and then probably go to work. Or maybe maybe we can finish the, the dance battle sub-story. But if we can, great. If we can't, we'll go to work, and we'll do sub-stories, and we'll do work missions, and then we'll progress the plot some more next Sunday. And we'll try to get through as much more of Haruka's stuff as possible. Um, I feel like I feel like we made a really good amount of progress today. Uh, I can't think of anything else, but I mean, I haven't been eating with her, but I just, uh, I mean, I could, I could try. It's just like, she gains back HP from the battles and stuff. It's hard. It's, it's kind of weird like that. So, um, and the only thing that we're skipping out right now is doing more master training because she fills up our climax heat gauge. So we want to keep that for the, uh, princess league stuff. So. Uh, other than that, her chapter is looking to be maybe not too long, at least in comparison to, like, Saijima and Kiryu. Their, their side stuff was just, like, there's so much of it. it. Took took a really, really long time to get all the way through it, so we may be able to wrap her stuff up next week. We shall see. But that's all I have for today. Tomorrow is Dark Cloud 2. S Tuesday is Neo 2. And then Thursday, we are, side we are starting Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon Everybody. Oops, sorry, I hit my mic. My bad. Jacobo's Mystery Dungeon, everybody, starts on Thursday. I've already got it installed and ready to go. Okay, that's all you get. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Have a good rest of your evening. And I will see you guys later.